Welcome now again, dear friends, to the Wednesday edition of Fresh Bread. It's Wednesday, October 18th, 2023. It's my brother PJ's birthday. PJ, if you happen to be listening, happy birthday to you. Hope to see you soon. And PJ's over in Spain, so we don't get to see him too often, but it's always a pleasure when he gets back to the United States. We get to visit, and what a joy to have a wonderful family. I've been so blessed. Got a little ice in my mouth, so bear with me. <laughs> well, like I said, just imagine we're sitting at McDonald's and having some coffee or some tea, and mm, we'll try to get uh, another um, coffee with Pastor Phil going here before too long. We are still meeting on Friday mornings. You can have coffee with Pastor Phil and several others with our call university classes. And I would encourage you to make a point of coming this. Friday. Remind those who were there the first time, didn't come last time. We had some newcomers last time that weren't there the f- first time. So, I mean, if everybody shows up at the same time, we're going to have to pull in some more chairs because I, I really see this thing uh, as, as something really people enjoy. It's a chance to discuss and visit. Remember, if you are going to come this week, I would ask you to go ahead and start reading in Hebrews, not necessarily in-depth Bible study, but just read it, get an idea of what it says. And don't forget to get a good study Bible so you can read the introduction to that book of the Bible. It gives you a real clear idea of what is happening. You can also look up the book of Hebrews on your computer and see about uh, the background on who wrote it. And again, with Hebrews, we really don't know. And, and what was going on in the world at the time they wrote it. So a lot of good information there. I'm sure you can find it online as well as in the introduction if you have a good study Bible. Well, we continue today on our look at Second Peter. We're still in chapter 1. And you remember yesterday we were talking about just the reminding of the basics. Let, let's we know these things, but let's be humble enough. Let's let's be real enough and honest enough. To say, I got. I have to keep getting reminded. It is so easy, friends, to think we got it. It's so easy to think we understand it. We don't need to go back. It's beyond us. We already mastered that. We went to confirmation class. We got confirmed when we were fourteen years old, and you know it's all down that hill from there. We we me and God are really tight. You know we understand each other. Hey, you know what? We got to keep growing. And that's just the way it is. I got to keep growing. You got to keep growing. So nobody ever arrives. I don't care who you are, Billy Graham or the Pope or whoever you think, you know, whoever you are, whoever you think you are, <laughs> nobody ever arrives. So that's not meant to burst your bubble. It's meant to say, look, we are on a journey. And, and like Paul said, I have not obtained everything yet. But one thing I do is I press on to the goal that's been set before me, not looking back, looking forward. So that's really what we want to do. Well, let's look here. Uh, Paul says here, again, after reminding them of the things that they already know, he says, I think it is right to refresh your memory as long as I live in the tent of this body because I know that I will soon put it aside as our Lord Jesus Christ has made clear to me. So Paul here is saying, I should say Peter is saying, as long as I got breath here, I am going to give you everything I've got I will make every effort to see that after my departure, you will always be able to remember these things. So, so I like this because this this hits home to me as we look at the way churches do ministries and start up programs. And I think I'm going to stop there and bring on this thought tomorrow because I want to keep these to two or three minutes. So tomorrow, I tell you what we're going to talk about. So make sure you come back. I want to talk about how do we determine what we're doing in the church and why it's important. Well, why it's vital that the members have to get plugged in. And if the members don't do it, we just as well might not as well do it. So I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. We're going to take a little break from the Bible study because I want to I want to delve into that for a few minutes tomorrow. So come back on Thursday for more fresh. But until then, God bless you. Have a great Wednesday. We'll talk to you tomorrow.